All right, all right, all right, YouTubes. We get a little vlog in. I got a couple things to chat about. Um, yeah, the first thing is, so the GoPro 9 got a mega update, firmware update, and it seemed to improve things a ton. Also, with the, with the battery connection problem I was having, I found if you put the rubber cover over the GoPro or you use the media mod, the battery won't come loose. So, that one with the firmware update, I'm thinking, thinking we got this thing whipped other than the usual glitches you get with GoPro. It's a freeze-ups and whatnot. I'm still testing out a, a little wind issue with my microphone the other day, so I had to stuff it back in my helmet. So we'll see how that works out when we get rolling up the highway here. But since the firmware update, and then figuring out either to use the media mod or the little rubber boot covers you can get for like eight or nine dollars that goes around the the whole GoPro. I haven't had any issues with the batteries coming loose, so it's been real good. Oh yeah, another thing too is I got the quad lock phone now. My buddy Eric has it. And it has a dampening. They made a a phone dampener so your camera doesn't get sh shaken baby syndrome and dies. And it I've been running it for over a month now and it absolutely works. So that's a mega upgrade. Then the only other thing is just to see if uh, if I stuffed my microphone back in here. I had made one vlog and it went to crap because of too much wind noise. And uh, we'll see if that's all sorted out now. I want to get up. We're going to get up, up the coast and then up into the twisties. See if we can have a good old time today. It is July 5th. Uh, work this morning. Uh, I got the day off in the day job, but I did do a NorCal refrigeration special, and now I'm out putting around. So, let's see how this works out. did get the test ride the new Indian Chief motorcycle with the 116 the Thunderstroke 116 and uh, I wasn't that impressed a lot of people have been super impressed with that motorcycle uh, I'm comparing it to my lowrider s and the first thing I noticed was the the braking was lackluster probably not a fair comparison since the lowrider s has two front calipers two front discs, one in the back, and just like the Victory motorcycles, the rear brakes on that Chief are super touchy, super grabby. Uh, I just don't like, I just don't like the brake setup on that bike, number one. Number two, the handling, the handling is far superior on this Harley Davidson Softail chassis compared to the Indian Chief, not even in the ballpark close, not even close. The, the handling on these Harley Davidson lowrider, um, lowriders, the soft tail chassis is amazing. What they've done with the mono shock and the, how rigid the bike is, the handling on this bike is stupid, stupid good. Way better than the Indian Chief. And yeah, the sport mode was cool on there. It's to me, it's gimmicky. It's just throttle response. So it just makes super twitchy th throttle response. I don't think the 116 would outsmoke the 114 at all, in my honest opinion. It's a short-legged motor, the 116. You're gonna shift through the gears faster. And this is a high RPM power van motor, the Milwaukee 8. And I think if you go head to head, I, I still think the 114 would be just as good or better. The other thing I noticed too is is the lack of aftermarket for Indian motorcycles is terrible. So look at all the crap I got on this bike. You know, you can do some cool shit with it. Handlebars, fairings, seats, uh, everything under the sun. And if you want your 114 to scream, just throw a cam in it. It's not that hard to do. You could even, even the, uh, believe it or not, the Screaming Eagle Torque Cam will almost give this bike 100 horsepower. And, uh, it's not that expensive, honestly. Maybe 400 bucks. 
but the lack of aftermarket on the Indian bikes is a little disturbing too. I think you can get more aftermarket for a Honda Rebel 1100. Uh, like the one I saw in Reno. It's in my Reno video. When we went to Street Vibrations. In the first part of June. And there's a ton of aftermarket for Honda Rebels, believe it or not. The seat on the Chief was good. The stock seat was comfy. Uh, I did get to ride the one with the little higher handlebars, the little mini apes. That was nice. Um, they did do a good job on their um, infotainment, uh, what do you want to call it, speedometer. Speedometer has everything in it, GPS. It, they, did a, they did a real good job with that. And uh, yeah, the speedometer infotainment things on there is really good. Indian did do a nice job on that. Uh, other than that, at the price point, I would, I'd get a Lowrider S over that bike or even a Sport Glide. And just you could just throw a torque cam in it and, and you'd be keeping up with the Scout. I think the Scout's a better motor than the Thunderstroke. I don't know why they didn't put the Scout liquid cooled motor in that Jeep. That would have been super cool. Or put the big old Challenger engine in that thing. But I think they wanted to do the air cooled, have a bike mid range with air cooled, which is not a bad idea. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad, it's not a bad looking bike. The gas tank's cool on it. If it was, if it was at a price point of like fifteen thousand dollars, I think it would have been a home run. But at the price point, you can get a lot more bike for the money if you get a Harley Davidson. That's just my opinion. And I'm not a Harley homeboy. I had a Victory before I had the Harley. And the Victory was a good motorcycle. It was, uh, I liked it a lot. But that's my thoughts on the Chief, on the Indian Chief. I'd probably pass on that bike. Uh, now the Challenger, their they're super duper bagger with the overhead cam motor, liquid cool. It's a nice motorcycle. It hauls. But with the new Harley Davidson Revolution Max motor, uh, just hold on and, and see what Harley's going to put out there. I'm telling you, that Revolution, I did get to ride the Pan American and it was out of sight. That engine is, that engine's going to hurt people. But I think the governor doesn't cut off on that motor until 135 miles an hour, which is crazy. Absolutely nuts. But that was my take on that. I'm going to go up here and I'll, I'll get back on it when we get to some fun roads. It's a nice little chat on a straight highway.
to the car. Bugger. Back up. 